tax time, car price bump, and why we say do not buy a car right now. We're talking about the phenomena where car prices typically inflate during tax season, an annual problem that can be attributed to several factors related to consumer behavior, definitely car deal behavior, <laughs> and market dynamics. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and across the way is the amazing Elizabeth. I want to give a shout out to our viewer, T.W. Lachlan, who made this great comment on our recent video covering five secrets of buying a new car. The comment reads, these aren't really secrets anymore if you watch enough Homework Guy videos. Great (laughs) point. Yeah. (laughs) But I was wondering if you could do a video on what seems to be labeled as a tax season for used cars. Is this really a thing? Do used car prices really spike? Is it best to wait this time period out? Other channels talk a lot about this, but I don't necessarily trust their content. The short answer is yes, there actually is an artificial price bump that happens during the tax season. And good for you on figuring out that not all content creators on YouTube should be trusted. Definitely not. We promise to do our best covering this topic today. Yes, the annual tax season price bump has happened every year for six key reasons. Number one, increased demand. During tax season, many individuals receive tax refunds, which they unfortunately view as free extra money. A significant number of these individuals decide to use their refunds as down payments on vehicles, leading to an increase in demand for cars. This heightened demand can drive up car prices as dealerships and sellers recognize the increased willingness of buyers to purchase. Kind of has the opposite effect, right? Yes. Number two, more spending power in the hands of consumers. With the influx of tax refunds, people suddenly have more disposable income, temporarily increasing their purchasing power. This can lead to a willingness to pay more for a vehicle than they might have at other times of the year, especially if they perceive their tax refund as a bonus or an unexpected gain. Free money. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Number three, seasonal sales and promotions. Car dealerships often capitalize on tax season by offering special promotions and sales, enticing buyers to use their tax refunds to purchase vehicles. Now, I didn't say great deals, just deals. <laughs> just deals. While these deals can sometimes offer genuine savings, the overall increased demand mostly results in higher prices across the board. Number four, inventory levels. Leading up to the tax season, dealerships often adjust their inventory levels in anticipation of increased demand. This is the time in the car buying season that more supply can have an opposite effect. This strategic management of supply by dealers during tax season can sometimes contribute to higher prices, as a perceived scarcity or the availability of more desirable models makes consumers more willing to pay premium prices. And the fifth factor is financing offers. Dealerships and financial institutions will also offer special financing rates or terms during tax season, which encourages consumers to buy cars at higher prices, believing they are getting a better deal due to the favorable financing. (laughs) Of course, this isn't true. This is starting to sound really bad. Yes. Number six, psychological factors. Ooh, it pains me to say this, but the psychological effect of receiving a tax refund often seen as found money or free money, can make consumers more impulsive or willing to spend on larger purchases like cars. This can increase demand in a way that inflates prices, as consumers with more money in their pockets are less price sensitive than they might be with their regular income. I've never understood why some people think a tax return is free money from the government. doesn't make any sense. Right. Well, these six factors combined create a situation where both demand and prices for cars can increase during the tax season, making it a notable period of the year for both buyers and sellers in the automotive market. Well, here's a hint, friends. Make sure you put that tax return away into a savings account instead and use it at a better time for something you really need. If you can wait it out on this car season, you probably should. The free money excitement will wear off quickly and prices will come back in line. Happens every single year. Yes, it begins by March, coinciding with the beginning of the tax filing season when individuals start receiving their W-2 forms and then they can file tax returns. This period often extends into late April or early May, aligning with the tax filing deadline of April 15th. However, as the market might still experience elevated prices into early May, depending on how quickly individuals file their taxes and the timing of refund disbursements. Sure. Well, as Kevin said, you might want to wait this out. Meanwhile, we have in-depth videos on this channel covering every car buying topic you could imagine out there, so we recommend that you use this time to do a ton of homework, combing over the channel and finding an abundance information on any step. Also, our website, thehomeworkguide.com, is loaded with a free car buyer's guide and many other resources on our blog and even direct help membership packages. So if you want to talk directly to us, make sure you check it out. All right. Thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there. You guys rock. 
And to THG members out there, we have loved working with you. God bless you all. On behalf of the entire Homework Guy team and the amazing Elizabeth, I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening. You can't go. All of